Welcome back, fellow warriors, to the stage of history. My name is Cosmo Jazz, and I'm so ready to get into this trailer right here. I've literally seen it, like, everywhere on Twitter to the point where it was just like, I have to get off Twitter just so I wouldn't get spoiled on some things. There's so much I want to talk about because I saw the poster yesterday showing that all the people that are in this movie, which is insanity to me, but I'll talk about that after the trailer because I, I, there's so much to talk about in that in one moment. So let's check this out. Resident Evil Death Island official trailer extended. After all she's been through, she's trying to make up for what happened to her. You mean how Wesker brainwashed her and made her come after us? No one's blaming Jill for that. No one. Mm. Except Jill. Damn. <laughs> Dr. Taylor? Yes, we need him in custody ASAP. I checked the DNA we got from a bite wound on an orca carcass. It had a strain of T-virus in it. You're kidding. I found the connection oh, between man. the Oh, man. Look at this group. They all visited Alcatraz recently. Well, Dr. Taylor, it's time we debuted our... <sighs> ...creation. God damn it! They turn fast and without being bitten. Without being bitten? I'm Rebecca. What do you want me to tell them? Someone accessed the DOD server. They managed to steal data on Leon... Is that Hunnigan? Jill, Chris, and Claire. You think this might have something to do with the Operon now? Most likely. Who is this guy? I'm going to use my virus to clean the slate. Dylan! Suckers. You're nothing more than pawns. I, I see it. it. Look at yeah. this lineup, dude. Jill with a good old knife. Set. Oh, damn, she's going hard. You gonna see Leon doing some nice stuff to you? What is happening there? <laughs> nice. We're at the final stage now. That there is no justice. Well, it's over now, asshole. So, is this going to be primarily Jill's story? Because they're kind of focusing on her more than the others. Yo, look at this shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a money shot right there. That's a money shot right there. Really going on vacation after this. I don't know about that, Leon. <laughs> Knowing what happens to you right after. Oh, man. Oh, I want to go back. Go back, go back to that money shot. Like, look at them. Let's do it. All of us. Dodging. Yep, jump dodge, jump dodge. Leon doing his freaky, jumpy over things, just like in Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's and, uh, Rebecca going under it. Is it? It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I don't even care if this movie's like literally bad. We're never getting like the closest we've ever gotten to this kind of. I, I would dare say Avengers level, like Justice League level thing in Resident Evil is Resident Evil Six. And uh, despite what you may think about that, they did were ambitious with that. So literally, this is the literally the craziest thing. Like I've like I can't even comprehend this is happening. We're getting all these interactions with characters we've been asking for for years in this movie, like Leon and meeting uh, uh, Jill, finally meeting somebody he would have met at the police uh, uh, institute and whatnot. Uh, Claire and meeting everybody back and re uh, rejoining Leon in another thing and rejoining Chris and too Rebecca here don't sleep on Rebecca Rebecca uh, deserves some props from some, the things she's able to do like she was still able to fight that prototype and uh, beat it off uh, the beat it off oh god the words <laughs> uh, the prototype tyrant by herself so she's no slouch 
Uh, she definitely, maybe not on the level of these four, but she's still worth looking at. But man, I can't wait, dude. This is, this is so cool. And I think I'm going to do a reaction on my second channel. Uh, that way, if it does end up being copyright stuff, you know how it is. That at least it won't affect this channel, but I will do a reaction for that. I will link that channel down in the description box below if you are interested in seeing that reaction. But, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I think it says July 7th. Oh, I got to mark my calendar for that. Oh, man, the interactions. I really want to see interactions between Jill and Claire. Like, talking about Chris <laughs> uh, and stuff and everything. Like, I think that's going to be very funny. Um... It's interesting, this villain we have, because I would think, like, if we were going to get this kind of group, that it was going to be, like, a super villain or something, like we've known in the franchise, you know, like a Wesker, or uh, even a Carla, to be honest, which, I mean, despite what you may think about RE6, like, Carla did do some crazy stuff in that game, so she would definitely be kind of up there, too, in my opinion. Um... But then again, I don't know. Maybe this new guy's got what it takes or whatever. He seems to be throwing in all the stakes and whatnot. Um, but I'm definitely excited for this movie. Like, it's so funny. When I first heard about this movie, I was just thinking, okay, another CGI movie. And then they showed me Jill. And then it was just like, okay, all in. And now they've gone all, all in with this. Like, Capcom... And everyone, they're just throwing out all the punches. Like, especially with Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is a great, amazing game. I did that playthrough on the YouTube channel if y'all want to check that out. Um, dang. Oh my gosh, this is so... I'm so ready. Sorry for gushing. Uh, I'm sure there's, like, more I could possibly talk about. But right now, I, I'm just trying to comprehend it all in my head. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. As I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Like I said, if you want to see the reaction of this, it will be on the other channel. That way I don't have to risk this channel with anything or anything like that. And you guys get to see your reaction too. Uh, but yeah, take care. Stay safe. And as always, let's try to kick 2023's ass. Later.